guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you guys have seen me on Instagram, you must have seen that I create lots and lots of design reads on my Instagram. And there are so many people asking for tutorials on those reads. So today, I bring you a YouTube video in which I'm going to create tutorials for a few of those reads. So let's get started. And before we move towards the tutorial, hit the subscribe button along with the bell icon so that you don't miss out on the upcoming exciting videos. Okay, without any further delay, let me show you the first video for which I am going to create a tutorial. For this effect, I already have the text typed over here. I'm going to select it, group and copy it using the commands shown on the screen. Then I'm going to go to effects, distort and transform and I'm going to go to transform. Over here, I'm going to work with the move horizontal and vertical and the copies. So, so you can give the values as shown on the screen or you can play around and give whichever values you want. These number of copies that we give are the shadow effect that's going to be created. So I'm going to give 1000 over here. And then you can see that this is a shadow effect. The only thing you have to keep in mind is the number of copies should be such that it moves outside of your artboard so that it gives a perfect shadow effect. Then I'm going to select it and I'm going to reduce the opacity. Once the opacity is reduced, if you remember, we had copied it. I have pasted it again over here and then I'm going to just change the colors as shown on screen. You can change the colors and you have your shadow effect. If you go and view it or you export it, you can see it's a perfect text shadow effect created. The second tutorial is also created using the transform tool. So here you're going to type your text and arrange it in a manner as shown on the screen. You're going to again select all the four text and you're going to group it and copy it. You can use the shortcuts shown on the screen. After we are done with all these, we are going to select it and change the color and apply a stroke. So here I'm changing the color to pink and I'm applying a black stroke to it. After applying the stroke, I'm going to go to Effects, Distort and Transform and Transform Tool. I'm going to play around with the horizontal and vertical scaling, the angle and the copies. So as you can see here, I'm changing the horizontal and vertical scale, the angle. I'm going to change the angle to 3 and I'm going to click OK. Once we are done with this, I'm going to again then paste in place so that I have one copy in front and I'm going to change the color for it. And that's it, we are done. For creating this effect, the first step is to create a huge sphere on your artboard. You can see it on the screen and then type your text. So type your text. Here I'm typing love your life. Three different words in three different text box. Type your text, choose your font, arrange it as you like for now. And then what we do is we are going to select our sphere. We are going to get the knife tool. And we are going to slice our sphere in three different parts, as you can see, since we have three different texts over here. Next, I'm going to arrange each text on the sliced portion of the sphere. You can see it. So it's on the different sliced portions. 
the most important thing is that the sphere should be on top. So send your text to back and keep your sphere on top. Now select the first text and the first portion of the sphere. Go to object, envelope distort and make with the top object. And do the same thing for all the three paths so that your effect is created as shown on the screen. After this, we are going to select this, group it and then I'm going to go to object, expand. You need to make sure the object and fill are ticked and then OK. Now I'm going to change the color for this. So after changing the color for this, I'm going to copy it and paste it in place. Then I'm going to reduce the size for that, bring it in the center and send it to back. So the huge one should be in the front and the smaller one should be in the back. Then change the color for the smaller one. I like to give it any lighter version of the bigger sphere. Then select both of these and align them so that they are both in the center. Then go to object, blend, blend options. And here we are going to work with specified steps. So I'm giving the steps as 100 and then I'm going to click OK. Next, object, blend and make. And we have a blended beautiful shape created. Now again paste it in place, change the color, apply a stroke as you like and you have your beautiful effect created for you here. We have come to the end of this tutorial video. Do thumbs up the video if you found it helpful and leave a comment to let me know if I should create more of such tutorials. Also hit the subscribe button along with the bell icon if you have not subscribed to my channel already so that you don't miss out on the upcoming exciting videos that I have for you all. I hope to see you soon again in the next one. Bye!